There is more on your ballot than the presidential and Senate races, a lot more, including 18 amendments if you're voting in Dallas County. And it can be overwhelming if you're reading them for the first time today. Our Lacey Beasley breaks down three big uh, amendments that you need to know about. They're called the Hero Amendments. Tell us about them, Lacey. Hey, Karen. Yeah, we're standing right outside a very popular polling location in Dallas. This is Oaklawn Library. You can see there is a line that's already wrapped around the building right now. We've been out here for about an hour earlier when I checked in about an hour ago. They said they've already seen close to 400 voters here. Now, I caught up with voters who are both for and against the HERO amendments. And here's what you need to know. The HERO amendments would have a major impact on Dallas, potentially forcing the city to add hundreds of new police officers and allowing people to sue the city. Now we're gonna take a closer look at amendments S, T, and U on the ballot. Now Proposition S would remove government immunity and allow any resident to sue the city of Dallas if it doesn't comply with charter amendments and local Violet ordinances. Criminal. Proposition T would mandate an annual quality of life survey. With as few as 1,400 responses, the city manager could receive a performance bonus equal to a year's salary or be fired. Proposition U would force the city to have a minimum of 4,000 police officers, which is almost 900 more than what the city has right now. It would also mandate that at least 50% of any additional revenue the city receives be given to the police and fire pension fund and higher salaries for police. Now, these amendments are named after a bipartisan group called Dallas Hero. The group collected nearly 170,000 signatures to add these amendments to the ballot. Though they are widely police controversial, here are thoughts from voters I just caught, off, caught up with, both for and against. But you for the untrained police officer, I feel like it's just unnecessary at this point. A lot of people just confused. They don't really understand the propositions, and we're just out here to help them to with any uh, information that we can give them. For accountability, I think that we need to be more accountable to what is going on with our, you know, city council and everybody else when there's issues with our government, and we need more police protection. Now, the Dallas Police Administration says it opposes these amendments, specifically the one about increasing the police force to 4,000, which could result in lowering the current standards for recruits and losing control over salaries and benefits for officers. Now, some members of the city council say these amendments could have been a factor into former Dallas Police Chief Eddie Garcia deciding to retire, and those who are part of the HERO initiative may not all be Dallas residents. Now, here at Oaklawn, you can see that there is a steady line wrapping around to the entrance. There's been hundreds out here from the past hour that we've been here. So far, about 400 voters here, and we're expecting about a 30 to 45 minute wait time for these residents and for these people who are voting here. We're going to keep you guys updated throughout the day with our election coverage. Karen.